this is not caramel this is not caramel this is not caramel this is caramel what's up and welcome back to my channel i think the most common misconception people have especially when it comes to their complexion and undertone is assuming that everybody that has a very what's the word a light appeal to their complexion is fair and caramel but that is an absolute lie and that is the reason why it looks like you've been making a lot of effort with your skin recently and you're not getting the exact kind of results that you want to get if you want your skin to have an appealing beautiful glow youthfulness to it you have to find out your exact complexion and match it with the exact products that your skin needs and the only way to do that is to make sure that you are using the correct ingredients that your complexion needs and that's why we are here if you see me looking down that's because i decided to pull up some charts for you i did an intensive research to help you to understand that there are different kinds of tones undertones and complexion and if you don't know your exact complexion you keep sending me messages emails dms asking me to recommend products for you that you are getting darker when in actual sense your skin is just telling you oh my dear this is our natural complexion let us just be the way we have been what destined to be this is your absolute dna let your complexion just be its own natural complexion and stop looking for shortcuts means and ways to keep your skin looking fairer and brighter because that's not what your skin requires now i'm going to pull up a chart on the screen right now level one those are fair white women okay the other one is medium olive now we have nigerians that have that exact kind of complexion are they light skin yes they are are they fair skin yes they are but are they white no they are not you need to understand that there is a huge disparity in terms of complexion in the skincare industry today because everybody wants to be fair. So all these vendors are mixing God knows whatever and calling it caramel skin complexion kit for you and you are doing yourself a favor by buying it. Now look at the second level, level um, VI, that's level six. This person in terms of complexion and undertone is caramel okay and honestly to some people i am caramel your undertone is going to determine the foundation shade you use the powder you buy the blush you use the lipstick you use everything that has to do with allowing your makeup to look absolutely flawless on you depends on your undertone when it comes to your complexion you need to know it because that is what we require and that is what will determine the kind of products that you are going to buy the ingredient list to look out for in those products and the kind of expectation that you should have with these products because i am sick and tired of people sending me messages telling me that they are darker when you eventually send me the picture sis is not even as fair as my sister and my sis is caramel and you are calling yourself caramel complexion no you are not i hate to be the bearer of bad news but you need to understand that your complexion is not caramel i hate to be the bearer of bad news i'll keep putting out this disclaimer but we need to settle this once and for all before i take you through what you need in your skincare guide that would help you to get the right products that your skin requires in order to enhance and glorify its youthfulness yes because you are you're watching this video you are not caramel in complexion since you are dark and your shade of darkness might not just be all that oh uh, i'm not this dark this that's okay it's all right you can be warm you can be deep okay and it's all right to embrace it what i'm trying to explain to you by giving you this analogy is to help you to understand that your complexion is number one not bad you should embrace it you should accept it and guess what when you accept it and you've acknowledged that this is my actual complexion you will not have high expectations of using the absolute wrong products that you want to use to get fairer because you have accepted the exact shade and tone and complexion that your skin has i would never in a million years be telling myself oh after now i'll start buying all these products so i can get fairer no or so i can get lighter no i love my complexion the way it is some people say oh she's evil fair she's yoruba fair she's this thank you so much 
but my undertone is warm and i am a fair-skinned woman sis probably your undertone is cool and you are a caramel skinned woman another sis can be what dark and you are a cool undertone uh woman it is important for you to know all these things if you guys want me to dive more into all these things so that you can start knowing the exact um makeup shades to look out for foundation shade blush shade lipstick shade let me know in the comment section i enjoy doing all these things because i get confused with some of your messages sometimes because it's a lot i see the picture and i'm wondering who in the whole universe explain to this woman that she's fair or that she's light when in actual sense your complexion is caramel and no matter how much you want to bleach your skin there is a pedestal that you cannot cross because that is the lightest that your dna can accommodate sis melanin is a pigmentation that your skin naturally produces by reason of the dna that comes from your parents that's your mom and your dad so even if you start bleaching and lightening your skin from now till tomorrow there is no miracle that can happen that can get you that oh i want to look like this person it's not gonna happen even if it does happen you will not be able to maintain it because that's not your skin's original color let's talk about the ingredients to look out for in skincare products now that we understand who is caramel who is light who is fair and who is white in complexion we have ascertained all that and i also gave you guys a summary on how to look for undertones to be sure of the undertone that you are okay but now we need to focus on the ingredients you need to be looking out for let me tell you the truth sis the reason why manufacturers keep selling products and people are buying it blindly is because they don't know how to look at ingredient lists the first one is coconut butter if you want to enhance and glorify your natural skin complexion coconut butter is going to be the best way to go now let me tell you why as a caramel complexion lady i know i know i know i've been there also i don't want the sun to come on my complexion and get me darker than my actual true shade the complexion that i currently have so guess what looking out for ingredients that offer some protection benefits listen to me some protection benefits is going to be what you need to be looking out for now and coconut butter is number one on that list scientists and dermatologists have researched coconut butter to offer a lot of sun protection benefits to the skin so if you are looking for body wash body gel pre-cleanse soap body oils coconut butter is the way to go i even use coconut butter personally because i love how it just makes the skin feel soft pampered and how it protects the skin from the sun the second one is argan oil this product helps to what maintain the complexion soften it and also preserve your skin's natural elasticity if you want your skin to stay youthful glowy beautiful for a long period of time you need to look out look out for ingredients like argan oil either in your body wash in your soap in your body lotion because those are the ingredients that would enhance your skin's natural caramel complexion the third one is berry extract i'm talking mulberry blueberry uh, raspberry strawberries berries are very very good for protecting the skin for enhancing skin's elasticity for um helping your skin to stay youthful and they now offer mild skin brightening benefits that's why you see a lot of manufacturers adding more berry berry extracts into skincare products because it helps to maintain the skin's complexion it also helps to soften the skin it also helps to pamper the skin sometimes the scents the natural extract scent of berries in soaps in body lotion is just very very tantalizing to the senses the fourth one is mango butter now a lot of people associate mango butter as the butter that oh, is for fair skin person no mango butter has skin softening properties that would allow your skin to be visibly soft have you seen somebody outside and you're wondering how is this person's skin just looking so good and it looks when you ask them they tell you oh i use body butter and i just use this body lotion and you're wondering this simple thing is what is making your skin glow like this that's because they are using the exact ingredients that their skin complexion needs and that's what you need to be doing after you have watched this video now 
mango butter is going to soften your skin it also has mild brightening benefits okay it's not going to make you light skin you're not going to be fair but it is going to maintain that natural sweet caramel complexion that you currently have the last one or should i say the second to the last is vitamin c and vitamin c comes as an antioxidant that protects the skin from free radicals and inflammation it is used more for that for you than for you to be expecting vitamin c to continue to brighten your skin give your skin this light bright complexion that you want no 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 see vitamin c as an additive that brings a lot of um, protection from free radicals and inflammation to your skin rather than as a skin brightening agent that you want your skin to start receiving and see caramel complexion should not be using papaya infused uh, uh, ingredients you should not be using papaya you should not be using carrot extract you should not be using um which other one aha glutathione it's not for your complexion because it's not going to give you that even bright soft enhanced complexion that you really deserve and that you are looking for why don't you opt for skincare products that moisturize soften pamper okay and offer mild brightening benefits like all the ones that i've been sharing with you since i started this conversation grape seed oil now this one has skin softening and pampering properties it also helps to promote skin elasticity now some of you are wondering you've been saying elasticity 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 is what makes your skin stay youthful for a long period of time if you notice that you're already in your early 30s in your mid 40s and you're seeing wrinkles on your skin sis you are not protecting your skin's elasticity and youthfulness and that's why it looks like all these products that you are using is not necessarily working for you and that's why it is important that if you are still in your prime like me you have to make sure that from now on you are protecting your skin's youthfulness by using skin preserving skin youth preserving skincare products and ingredients like grapeseed oil okay because in the long run when you are near your 40s and your 50s and people are asking how old are you you don't want your skin to start looking five or seven years older than you truly are because see let me tell you the reality all those skin brightening whitening lightening products that you are using they will help your skin to be lighter but they age the skin faster because they are not necessarily adding any significant uh 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 um benefits to the skin aside from lightening in fact research has shown that skin lightening products skin lightening ingredients skin lightening additives in skincare products has the way of dehydrating the skin of its skin's natural moisture okay and that's why if you use skin lightening products for a long period of time for as long as 10 15 years your skin will start to have natural wrinkles on it and you'll be wondering oh but i'm trying my best and it's not really working out now if you ask me let me group everything that i've just said now and summarize it for you into a normal body care routine that you would understand so for body care we have pre-cleanse soap we have body wash we have body lotion and then lastly we have body oil for body lotion for body oil for body washes and for pre-cleanse there are certain brands for your pre-cleanse soap you can use dove you can use scent ice they have beautiful ranges just look out for all these ingredients that i've mentioned to you for your body wash you can use palm olive honey i used it in the past i can't find it again i honestly have been trying to look for it again when i was making research for this particular uh content but even at this store they don't really stock it up i don't know why palm olive is a good brand dove is a good brand um which other one i know nivea does body washes too but look out for the ingredient list now for body lotion nivea perfect and radiant with berry extract is the way to go if your skin is caramel all right jeggings they have a lot of skincare products with most of all these ingredients that i've just mentioned to you now for your body oil argan oil grapeseed oil mango butter coconut butter are the options that you have stop deceiving yourself and opting for carrots anything with papaya because you are trying to be fair when your natural complexion is not fair i hope you guys enjoyed today's video let me know your thoughts in the comment section okay everything that i've just said will be summarized in the description bar 
me your thoughts in the comment section ask me questions i'll try my best to go through as much as i can and i will see you in the very next one